Uh, hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. We're in London with Kent, and uh, we're standing right here in front of the in front of the River Thames on the Queen's River Walk, and uh, we're just gonna walk around and have a great day. Um, but before we get to this part, uh, we got to go back and start at the beginning. Hey guys, what's up? This is Grim Green. No, you don't get to do that. All right, well here we go. Hey everybody, Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to the UK. I'm currently in Jersey with the wonderful and fabulous and beautiful Casey Pickle. She's about to take me to the airport. I was hoping, I had my fingers crossed that maybe me and MTurk would be on the same flight, but we're totally not. But it's totally cool because we get to hang out in the UK. So here we go, this is, uh, this is Vape Jam UK. 2018. Woo! So I'm in the uh, British Airways lounge and uh, it's always great to come in here, but I always feel just a little bit out of place. I feel like it's just maybe a little bit too nice and I really shouldn't be in here. I honestly feel like sometimes someone's just gonna walk by at any minute just to come kick me out. Wow! Also, huge, huge shout out to Casey Pickle's dad, Ron. He made me a steak sandwich for, for my traveling. Just. What? Amazing. Well, we definitely made it to London. Great flight. Outside vaping right now. Me pod. Here's the thing. He throws big, so I gotta get on a train. And I gotta go find Jess and Kent and Andy. Woohoo! Turns out this airport is a lot more confusing than I thought it was. Oh, but hey, I found Jess. Oh, God, I look scary. Oh look, it's Andy! Tiny, tiny British car. Lots and lots of luggage. Andy's real confident that we're gonna get this all in the car, but I don't believe him. Just... I know, that's exactly what I'm doing. Standing in a lake. What you got, Jess? Jammy Dodgers! Alright, that's fine. Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, Andy, I got, to, I got a few questions for you. I got off that plane, I'm feeling good. I'm gonna try and squeeze your stuff in this car and get to uh, the hotel. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Nick said it's not gonna fit, so I'm gonna have to get an Uber. No, nah, he'll fit. <laughs> Alright, we'll make it fit. <laughs> All right. We can make everything fit. Dude. You didn't get, I didn't really like those weird ones. The this stick. is just a gratuitous yeah, Kent footage for all of my subscribers that say, more well. Kent next time. Yeah, I think actually some people said, more Ilya, less Kent next time. Oh. Maybe that was just one comment, I don't know. I pay attention <laughs> to that kind of shit, you know. You know, that guy, thanks a lot. <laughs> I, saw, I lost sleep over it. <laughs> Well, good morning from London. We're going to do some some fun London-y things today, I think. Just gotta go find everybody. So yesterday I mixed up that bottle of uh, Vlog Day and was vaping it. Uh, it's been awesome in this broadside. It tastes delicious in here and it's, oh, I over drip. Ah, oh, crap. But it's cold out here in London. This is what I'm vaping today and I'm gonna call this segment Grim Green exploring alone to try to go get some things that he needs in London with wind. My trip to the grocery store was very uneventful, so I got a sandwich, and I think I'm just gonna go back to my room and eat a sandwich, and then uh, maybe review a vape thing I brought with me. All right, it's time to eat my ham and cheese baguette, but I got this bat kit from OBS not too long ago, and it's something that I, I wanted to review. I wanted to spend some time with it. I wanted to put it up on YouTube, but just because of the way my schedule is with traveling to the East Coast and then traveling to the UK, I never really had a time to get it out, set it up, and really fiddle with it, really vape it. So before I left my house, I just threw it in my, you know, in my checked bag, and uh, I'm just gonna set it up. Oh, and it's yellow. Okay, so this is kind of like uh, an all-in-one kit that you get. It's got an OBS sub-ohm tank, which OBS sub-ohm tanks in the, in the past have been, has been pretty good. It's a, you know, dual battery, uh, 18650s, I believe. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix up that other bottle of uh, Bro Trip, the, 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 the short fill Bro Trip, and that's what I'm gonna put in this tank. But it comes with a mod and a tank and a spare glass and spare O-rings, you know, things that mods come with, as well as, as, well as a spare coil head for the, for the tank. High performance box mod. And there absolutely is a little, uh, 
thing right there on the screen. Oh, and it's got LEDs. It's got uh, it's got like RGB LEDs right here in these little formations on the top and bottom. It's a fairly good looking screen. Ooh, I don't know which color should I choose. There's like red, green, sorry, like red, green, yellow. I don't know, let's keep it yellow. Let's keep the yellow on yellow thing going. Or like maybe a contrasting color like yellow and blue. I know that's not gonna pick up on the camera very well, but it looks kinda cool. Yellow and purple, white. I like yellow. I like the yellow on yellow look for this. Okay, so the juice is all mixed up. This is the 0.2 ohm coil head, which looks like it has three coils in there. And then the 0.4 ohm coil head on the, you know, the replacement that you get that's a 0.4 has a single coil on the inside, a big, you know, more traditional looking sub ohm coil head. Feels actually pretty nice. It's got that weird like zippy sound going on though. Oh no. Okay, well I can already tell that I am going to really dislike this tank a lot. Uh, the way that you fill it is you just pull up on the little collar right here, and then there's a big juice fill hole right there. The problem is this collar doesn't really lock. It just kind of floats freely and there's no way to uh, to lock it in place at all it just opens and closes opens and closes like this so if this was in my back pocket and I reached for the tank and I grabbed it there, there's a hundred percent chance that this could just open in your hand because there's no way to lock it down and that sucks because then you have a big open juice you know big big open container of juice with a big hole right here oh but I do not trust that at all. I do not trust this top cap at all. Which is a bummer because this mod is actually kind of cool looking. Well, it, it's definitely going, it's definitely vaping. I don't know if I trust that, uh, I don't know if I trust that top. I don't know if I trust that fill system very much because seriously, you can just literally just boop and, and now it's open and you have a big, <laughs> opening into your juice tank. This could be the worst top filling system in a tank that I have ever seen, ever. And, and my coil head is flooding now because that top seal on the top isn't secure. It's not, it's not creating a vacuum in this tank to keep it from flooding. It's just it just constantly, constantly can easily open and close, and I, and I hate that. I hate that so much. I don't even want to use this tank right now. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna keep using that tank for a little bit, at least here in the hotel room, and uh, I'm gonna eat my baguette, and I think Ruby Roo is on her way here. That might have been Kent just texting me. Today is, today is, we're calling today Kent Day because it's whatever. I have a cake to Kent, go. come tell, see what we're doing. I have a good night. Night. We're gonna go adventure. So basically, there's a uh, there's a train stop for the overground. Ha there's a train stop for the overground, like just down there, right? So me and Nick, <laughs> one, two, wait, one, two. We're gonna go one or two in the comments for yes. <laughs> no, we're gonna go take an overground, random direction. We don't even know where we're going. Just gonna go adventuring. We're gonna go two or three stops, get off, walk around, take some more video, and then uh, then we're gonna get back on the train, come back. Yes, we gotta meet. Back here, and also, yeah, and also, look who, look who's here. I found a ruby room. <laughs> What's up? She's going on like 20 hours, no sleep. What's up? Hashtag team no sleep. Hashtag extra. Extra. Yeah. So we threw caution to the wind, and, and now we have no idea what we're doing. Yeah, but we got these. <laughs> Read them in week. You know what else we got? We don't know how this works. We don't know where we're going. Oh yeah, coins. Do you know which platform? You can choose whichever one Custom you want. Custom house for Excel. Let's go there. That seems good. That seems fine. You need to show the audience where we're going? Yeah, here's where we are. Yeah, the Kent's got the tickets. All right, here we go. Adventure time. I have to use my own music, otherwise YouTube will flag my video. Made it, Kent. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the uh, this is the River Thames. It's very brown. Yeah, it's not just a clever name. It feels very Londony here today, right now, in front of a 
what's this called? The, the Creek Queen's River Walk? The Queen's Walk. Queen, Queen's River Walk. Can't be more animated. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> On cue? Yeah. See? Do it right now. I'm Entertain us. I'm coachable. Do you get it? All right, he says you be more entertaining. I'm trying my best here, fellas. Well, we uh, we found this battleship here, and Kent said he knows all about it. So here, we get a shot of this battleship. Kent knows all about this battleship, so what, what, what battleship is this? Yeah, it's a really interesting story. Back in uh, 1944 was the last battle on the River Thames, and afterwards, to commemorate it, they decided to, since it was finally a time of peace, you know, after 1945, they decided to just park it here as a commemoration of the peace and a reminder that you shouldn't, you know, uh -huh. have those wars anymore, basically. Yeah. What's, what are these numbers? There's some numbers here that kind of go up the side of the battleship. What do, what do those signify? You... All right, I'll take this. <laughs> so, so in the winter time, this freezes over. And so those levels are actually to let the, you know, the, sh the ship captain know how far to lower down the ladder during, yeah. during cleaning the side of the Absolutely. ship. Absolutely. Which you'll notice there's actually a black, a black yeah, mark. Yeah, there's a black mark along the bottom there. Yeah. Kind of like a... Which is pretty much, once it gets above that level, it becomes dangerous. So yeah. You have to really, yeah. really keep an eye on it. Yeah. And all this information is verifiable, like verifiable, like you can go on Wikipedia. Yeah, go right and, now. Yeah. The Can Battleship Canterbury. Yeah, the Battleship right Canterbury. There. Google it and uh, we'll fact check Kent here. So One in Kent. the comments for yes. Two, two for, for no. Made it here to the Tower Bridge. Look at Kent's hair, just flowing in the wind. He's such. It looks like he belongs in London. You know. I do. He looks like a like a model in London. Hello. This is the Tower Bridge. Is that correct, Kent? Yeah, I believe so. And this is the Tower Bridge, and then across the the Thames is the Tower of London, right? I'm no expert on this bridge or that tower. Oh, only All I know only is, is battleships. the battleships. That's right. His specialty is battleships. I forgot about that. Can you tell us anything about this this uh, this marble it's not here? It's actually marble. It's granite. Oh, it's granite. Yeah, from a quarry just outside of London, actually. Interesting. When when was this built? Do you no, know? I have no idea. This oh, looks okay. like probably refurb. Okay. If this was old older granite, I would assume it'd be more pitted. Okay, it's not pitted though. It's very fresh. The grout looks fresh. grout looks fresh. It's fresh grout. It's my fourth year at Vape Jam, and uh, I've never been out into London, and I've never seen London things. And so you've also never come this early to where you have a couple days. I've, yeah, and I've never seized the day. I've never got I've never got out of bed before noon here. I woke up this morning at 7:30 in the morning. Isn't that crazy? I seized the day. Yeah. And now we're out here. We out here though at the London Bridge. No, not the London Bridge. Tower Bridge. Yeah. And tell. Are you feeling good, Nick? I feel great. Yeah, I feel <laughs> yeah. great. And this is where uh, this is where our adventure is going to end, I think, actually, because we have to get back. Yeah. This was sorry. a limited adventure, but it's but we've been having a great time, you know, just a great time. I think we're going to go to a vape shop tonight and hang out with uh, Turk and some folks over at a vape shop in where was it? Well, he's staying in Kent. He's staying in Kent. Yeah, exactly. My name is from a town. So in the UK, whenever I tell people my name, they're like, oh, ha, ha, you're, you're the name of this dumb town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kent. Yeah. What happened? I'm a little out of breath, as you'll notice, because I was doing my new exercise called running up the stairs real fast. <laughs> but why did, we have, why did we have to run up the stairs real fast? Well, you, well, we had a junction, and there was a train on this side and a train on this side, and you said we should take the train on that side. I said, no, the sign clearly says we should take that train. And we went with my, my plan. And we were wrong. As soon as we got on the train, there's this couple of teenagers, and he's like, where are you trying to go? And I was like, oh, right there? And he's like, yeah, you're on the wrong train. <laughs> but he was really helpful. Yeah, yeah. After the fact, he's like, yeah, you're on the wrong train. Doors are closing. <laughs> we're gonna get yeah. back. We might be five minutes late to this We might be like 10 or 15 minutes late. You think it's gonna be that much? I'm out of, I can't talk right now, I'm out of breath. It's actually not entirely Ken's fault. It actually is 100%. But I forgive him. You can't. How do you stay mad at that guy? You can't stay mad at him. You just can't.
We're in, uh, where are we? Witherspoon. Witherspoon? Rochester. Rochester. Rochester on, on High Street. High Street and Rochester. It's a very cool, uh, it's, it's a very cool area. It's real old, yeah, it's old school England. Uh, we're gonna go to the Vaporizzo shop as well, and uh, we're just gonna get some food now. This is a cool part, it's, this is cool. You think this is cool, Can't I here? think it's so cool. Hey, watch out. <laughs> Vaporizzo basically is taking us through Rochester, and uh, this is the uh, historical neighborhood. <laughs> it was founded by Queen Elizabeth IV. Fact. <laughs> There's no way that's true. <laughs> Charles Dickens grew up in there, oh, I and want it's that where he wrote Oliver Twist and the stories. Oh, yeah. I was just saying I want to yeah. Charles Dickens grew up there? Evidently, that's where Charles Dickens grew up. Yeah, right after Queen Elizabeth IV. Right after Queen Elizabeth. I think your timeline's a little bit off there. That's okay. One Christmas, I had this massive giant Charles Dickens in a bed, and got set up. It was like really weird. Turn. 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 Turn.
so successful. Oh, absolutely. I think if I practice with this, I could win a big club competition. Yeah. For the big money. For the big money, yeah. 10K? You upset you didn't? 10K? You upset you didn't win the Twisted Messes 24 Pro Series? <laughs> I'm a little bummed, you know. I've been, <laughs> been wanting to try that RDA for quite a while. Well, someday, someday maybe I'll be able to get one. All right, well, we're back at our hotel. No, just you're going to end the vlog. You're going to end this video for me. So just end it. Say, thanks everybody for watching. Just keep on vaping. No, I had a whole, I had a whole thing prepared. Okay, no, do your thing. It's probably better than my thing. Just do your thing. Do my own thing. Yeah, do your own thing. Oh yeah, it was about the, it was about the universe or something. You know, what? I forgot. I'm gonna have to think it over, because I had this whole thing that I was like, I was talking, I was talking about it with my girlfriend, and I was like telling her, she's like, I don't think you should say that. I think people are gonna misunderstand you. And I was like, No, 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 it's Crimson. No, we're just ending a video. We're not. I know, but I had, a, I had a whole thing. <laughs> I, I just say keep on vaping. I had a whole thing planned, but I forgot it. That's what I'm trying to get across here. Okay. okay. All right. Keep, yeah, keep on vaping or whatever. It's good. <laughs>